Our first lightning talk is Wikidata, Wikibase, and Libraries, a 2024 update. It's going to be presented by Alan Ng, who is a Senior Partner Manager with Wikimedia at Dutchland. Um, and we're, you are more than welcome to put um, questions in the chat here, as well as the Slack and me and our co-host will be watching that. So, um, and if you have any questions, you can directly message me, Christy, uh, Thomas, or uh, Timothy Ryan, and we'll get that taken care of for you guys. And take it away. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming by my Lightning Talk session on an update on Wikidata Wikibase and libraries over the past 12 months. Please allow me to turn off my video because when I'm in presentation mode, I am unable to see myself. So I'm not sure what I do on camera. <laughs> So um, many things have happened over the past 12 months, and it's really impossible to cover everything in the next few minutes. I shall attempt to quickly share some relevant highlights, and you are welcome to reach out to me later on for more information on other topics. If you have questions regarding the technical setup of Wikidata or Wikibase, please feel free to email them to me, and I'll be happy to forward your queries to my technical co colleagues or engineering colleagues after this conference. Now, this is a very familiar image to everyone. It shows a heat map of the items pertaining to the country or region uh, with which they are attributed to in Wikidata back in 2014. That's two years after Wikidata was created. So visibly, the bright spots indicate that most of the items in Wikidata are from or attributed to the North America and Western Europe regions. The next image shows that over the last decade, there has been an increase in um, the number of items in Wikidata uh, that are outside of the North America and Western Europe region. And this is partly due to our joint efforts with global communities and institutional partners like yourselves to reach out to underrepresented communities to increase diversity within Wikidata. And these efforts are bearing fruit. So a big thank you to everyone. Our efforts can be encapsulated in Wikimedia Deutschland or Wikimedia Germany's Link Open Data Vision, where you look at the second stanza, diverse communities around the world participate in Wikidata and in a network of specialized Wikibases, co-creating an open and free global knowledge graph in its thriving Link Open Data web. Even though we work with many types of global institutions, we have a soft spot for libraries and librarians, because as custodians of the human knowledge, I have no doubt that libraries and Wikimedia projects are natural allies in the free knowledge movement. So first, I'll talk about workshops that we do here with the different institutions globally. And for, for this particular conference, the Lightning Talk specifically three use cases. Um, capacity building with librarians is a big part of what we do here at Wikimedia Deutschland. So together with Wikidata volunteer Camilo Pelizari, whose username is Apidosis, we have recently concluded a three-day Wikidata workshop at the National Library of Latvia, where 25 librarians were trained in various Wikidata skills, including manual editing, bulk import via quick statements, reconciliation of the catalogs via mix and match, uploading a catalog to mix and match, creating a new property on Wikidata, Sparkle query, setting up of a Wikibase instance, among others. So this link brings, you to the, brings us to the project page of this particular uh, workshop. And you can see that we have done a lot over the past three days. And I would like to bring us to the, the dashboard. So um, from this recent workshop, you know, this three-day workshop, we, we resulted in uh, the creation of close to 104 new items and uh, 386 items relating to Latvia were edited. And um, you can have a closer look at this particular dashboard and information later on. I've shared the, uh, the presentation online already. 
So we were very happy with this the results of this particular conference, and we look forward to more workshops and capacity building activities with different institutions in the future. So apart from this use case with the uh, National Library of Latvia, uh, we have also um, conducted wiki-based workshops with Nigerian and Ghanaian uh, university librarians separate, separately. So I've put the links to the different projects there and uh, you're free to you know, access them and have a look at them to have a better understanding. If there's any other questions, feel free to reach out to me later on if you want to learn more about any of these workshops or if you have interest in conducting workshops in your institution. So use cases. I would also like to take this opportunity to share a data contribution project from the Hong Kong Baptist University Library where they uploaded close to 60,000 data items out of more than 200,000 historical news, Chinese news clipping entries in their database into Wikidata. So a quick background about this particular project, it was started in 2021, and this project is mainly a data contribution project where the digital metadata of newspaper clippings archives are being uploaded into Wikidata. And we have about 58,000 or close to 60,000 items of Wikidata. And this effort has been uh, done by just one staff um, from, the, uh, from the university library itself. So um, part of the reason why they are doing this is because this project will enable their users, you know, who are researchers, to make visualized queries such as, you know, what is the geographical spread of news clippings, of the sources, or even queries on which articles were printed out by publishers that no longer exist. So I've put some screenshots of, you know, um, the results of the query. As you can see here, if you click on the link here, it will bring you to the Sparkle query and you can see the results themselves. So this project actually you know, adds value to what they're trying to do. So the next steps for the library is they wish to create external identifier property on Wikidata and also upload their catalog into mix and match and eventually, you know, uh, ideally to embed the Sparkle uh, endpoint query results into their website. So apart from the Hong Kong Baptist University Library project, I've also included a use case of the Daria Wikibase instance. Let me click on this link here to bring us there. This is the Wikibase instance. So Daria Eric is actually a research infrastructure that enhances and supports digitally enabled research and teaching across the arts and humanities discipline. So what this Wikibase instance does, it serves as a repository for these items and these items are linked to Wikidata. So for example, if we you know, try one of the query that is in the Wikibase instance, you can see the results um, of what is in the Wikibase instance and the corresponding uh, QID of the item on Wikidata. Right, before my time runs out, I also like to quickly share that I've added four other uh, interesting points, highlights to share with everyone. The first is uh, we have conducted uh, two and um, conducted and published two interviews um, over the past um, 12 months that we think are relevant to the participants of this conference. The first is an interview with Camilo, the uh, person whom I co uh, uh, conducted a workshop with the National Library of Latvia. His username is Epidosis. So if you click on the link, you will be able to see um, the interview you know, from his perspective of how he has been working with catalogs, uh, library catalogs uh, over the past, I think uh, more than 12 years of his uh, Wikidata uh, experience as a volunteer. So I've also have a link an interview with the uh, Mimotex um, Wikibase instance and everyone is free to take a look at it as well. So apart from that, I've also um, put a link here on Wikidata data modeling days, where I think it will be beneficial for some of the participants and audience to look at how some you know, data are being modeled and some topics there, which 
may be helpful to you uh, when you're working on your data. Um, I think from, I also added a link here regarding Wikidata and AI. And I think this is probably uh, quite interesting because this shows our latest official position on the topic of Wikidata and AI. Um, I've observed from a last conference at LIBA this year, where it's a research library conference. And this topic has to be a, seems to be a very popular one among librarians. <clears throat> so just to give a quick summary of what this article is about, is essentially saying that Wikidata has, an offic has officially launched a project with two companies, DataStax and Gina AI, to simplify the access to Wikidata's open data for AI applications, or in the technical terms, to vectorize our data. So our aim is to support the development of non-profit, you know, support smaller open source AI projects with open and high quality data from Wikidata. So we aim to launch a beta in 2025 next year as part of our journey to make uh, free knowledge accessible to everyone. So thank you for your time. And uh, this is my email and my user page. Feel free to reach out to me, send me an email if you have any queries for either me or for my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. That was great. I kind of feel like you teased us. Definitely need a little more, more time next time so we can get more information. Uh, Grace, if you want to go ahead and get your presentation, share screen, um, and we'll get you started next. Um, and Jessica is sharing a lot of resources over in the Slack channel, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in Slack and in um, the chat. And we'll go back after the next lightning um, and ask Alan and Grace at the end of it to fill a break. <clears throat> Grace, are you here? I thought I saw you earlier. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear me now. Um, Grace Emilio Pena from Nigeria. I'm glad to be on the conference. I'm Speaking to my paper this afternoon. This can you help me with my slide? I will get it to my slide. Okay. We can hear you, Grace. Do you have slides ready? My slides, please. Um, I don't know. Give me one second, I'll pull your slides from Slack. I'll be glad if you can help me to get from your end. Yeah. Well, I'll be speaking to Rose about uh, the application of link data. That is application of link uh, data. In galleries, libraries, archives, and museums in Nigeria. And that's uh, the topic of our discussion this afternoon. This afternoon here, I would like to speak to us briefly about our experience, about experience in the use of linked uh, open data in galleries, libraries, and archives and museums in our own environment here in Nigeria. So as a way of introduction, I would just say that yes, uh, galleries, libraries, uh, and archives here, we have tried to uh, meet our users' services and we render services in all space. Galleries uh, that is glam is a, is, a, is a heritage institution, the kind of heritage institution that keeps all kinds of records and um, uh, library resources. Please, next slide. That's uh, 
users are able to use to meet their information needs. And for us to do this, we have uh, tried to adopt some kind of uh, technology uh, and uh, also link data. But not many libraries have been able to sufficiently do this in meeting their information uh, needs or the, 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 their users' information needs now. So we, we, have, we say, yes, not many libraries have, uh, not many uh, glam institutions have been able to do this. Uh, so I would just say, yes, that what is, what then is big data? That takes us to the next slide, please. Slide, please. What is link data? How do we use link data in, in GLAM institutions? How do we keep uh, uh, our, our users abreast of the information that we have? We have tried to say that link on open data are shareable information. They are free information that we can find online, that we can find on open resource, that we can find on um, some databases. So, for example, we have Wikidata. Yes, yeah, the Wikidata are uh, a search engine from the Wikimedia Foundation that we can use to search for information. And this can be relevant to uh, a particular need of a user. So the user can, uh, uh, you know, can access any of these uh, URIs. They can, uh, they, can, they can access the Wikidata, Wikisource, Wiki, log, all kinds of Wiki, Wiki commons to find information. So it's, as long as it's on the open source, it's, it's free, free from, uh, you, uh, from uh, and, and it's also having the copyright um, uh, uh, permission for you to use it. So it, it's, as long as it's free, it's shareable, you can access those information and use them uh, online. And then we talk about the benefits. What are the benefits of using linked and open data? Uh, we talk about benefits as accessibility of information, getting free access to information and regularly you know, accessible. That takes us to the next slide. So uh, accessibility of information, and then we talk about skinning uh, uh, new to support machine learning and um, uh, a combination of many different types of data. Yeah, we use this uh, uh, AI to achieve this, we use artificial intelligence to be able to scheme new uh, uh, tools and, uh, and get the relevant information that we need to meet uh, uh, research. That's to render services to our users. So libraries, archives, and museum in Nigeria have been able to uh, use uh, artificial intelligence to some extent, not to a high degree of percent. Yeah. Um, to some extent, they have been able to use it, but uh, we can say there's room for uh, uh, improvement in using more of it because there are some things that are involved that we should be talking about in, in our next slide about challenges of open data. What are the challenges that we encounter in using linked data? Uh, we talk about uh, the cost of doing this. We want to use AI in our, in our archives. We want to use a, a, a AI in our schools, in our libraries, in our galleries. We we'll, we'll have to consider the cost implication of adopting those kind of technologies. And then we we'll look at the resources that we need that we to use side by side in the technology, talking about software use, uh, the, by information materials, uh, library materials, archives materials, museum materials. Monuments, monuments, kinds of uh, uh, materials in the museums, for example, uh, we look at these and then infrastructural facilities to keep them, uh, to preserve them uh, over time. We look at uh, the, the manpower involved to keep this information and uh, vital information that are readily available on linked data uh, and open, uh, linked open data. So we need the uh, the, the expertise to do this, we, we need sources, we need all, all of these to put together in achieving success, in organi uh, organization success, and also in the quality service that we do for our users. So that goes to bring us to the conclusion now that yes, all uh, linked open data uh, 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 will improve. 
uh, efficiency and effectiveness of uh, service delivery in our grant institution in Nigeria. Yes, we, 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 we are not yet there, but we are, we are moving and we are actually progressing by the, in the use of uh, linked open data in our libraries. So, so that's about that. And then we we'll look at the next slide now. Next slide, please. That talks about recommendation. Yeah, uh, we're recommending that uh, all libraries and institutions in Nigeria should uh, adopt and incorporate uh, uh, linked open data in, in their service delivery uh, for, for them to achieve organizational success. And uh, I think um, uh, 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 that's a welcome development to uh, all is, uh, heritage institutions in our country here. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for listening and I uh, hope to uh, hear from our uh, listeners. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you, uh, Grace and Alan, for your presentations. Um, please go ahead and post your questions for our presenters today in the um, in the Slack channel or here in um, Zoom chat. We already have a couple of questions that have um, come in, so I'll start first with the question um, from uh, from the Slack channel. Uh, thanks for posting that, Timothy. Um, someone asked, I was hoping for info about the bifurcation of Sparkle querying as a result of the capacity programs Wikidata is having. Can you comment, Alan? Hi, uh, thank you. Um, actually, we expected question, this question to pop up, um, but I don't think I'm in a position right now to, to comment on this particular issue because uh, we all uh, kind of understand that um, the issues goes a bit deeper than uh, what we can uh, do about this. Uh, however, <clears throat> um, please let me turn on my video. I think it's quite rude if I, yeah, to sorry, totally forgot about it. However, um, you may know by now that uh, Wikidata birthday is coming in the end of this month. And uh, we also uh, plan to organize uh, some event. And also we have, um, we will be organizing some uh, Wikidata related, event, related events, like for example, data reuse days in early next year. And I think we'll be able to uh, better address uh, big questions like this and issues like this uh, at such a uh, particular setting. Sorry to disappoint you, Timothy, if, uh, or, or whoever who asked the question. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, we also have a question um, for Grace now. Grace, are you finding it easy to get buy-in from leadership to use linked data within your institutions? Grace, are you with us? Okay, if there are any other questions, um, go ahead and post them in Slack or here in the Zoom chat. We do have a couple minutes left. I did wanna highlight also more of a comment from uh, um, uh, someone in the chat about a workshop that Alan did um, with the National Library of Latvia. Um, last week and how um, how much they learned from that. So kudos to you, Alan. Sorry. 
Oh, thank uh, you, I'll Grace. Like the other question again. Oh yes, thank you, Grace. Yeah, I would like of to course. Hear the question again, please. Yes, yeah. um, Grace, are you finding it easy to get buy-in from leadership to use linked data within your institutions? Yeah, we uh, uh, actually uh, are trying to create uh, awareness and uh, create com community for linked to link data. It's not uh, just an easy task, but People are begin, become, becoming aware uh, with more sensitization, they get to know more about how to use link data and incorporate uh, it into the system. And I think uh, 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 this guy is uh, not the limit. Yes, we, we actually need to do more sensitization about link data. Some people don't, are not properly aware about what link data means and how they can use it. Uh, I think more conferences like this, more workshops, uh, will bring uh, awareness to uh, the people, and even especially libraries, and uh, also other heritage institutions, uh, the ground institutions, yeah, generally. They will get to know more about laying data over the years. And uh, uh, I think more people need to look in that direction and bringing this to the people, more, 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 more uh, authors in that field. Now we need to form into that area. Uh, how do we use? Uh, what are the benefits of using data, link data? Uh, it save you a lot of, lot of stress in meeting uh, service planning. It saves not just the inconvenience, even for relevant and reliable information. We are able to. Uh, meet your user needs. So I think uh, we, we, we'll do more work, but I think we need to look at the area of partnership in achieving this and collaboration. So when we're able to partner and collaborate with um, uh, interested people and persons and uh, qualified persons, we'll be able to achieve more. Yeah, thank you. Hello? Thank Hello? you. Thank you for that response. Yeah. So yeah. we have one minute left and I don't see any other questions. So I'll just open it up. Um, oh, Alan has a raised hand. So Alan, you get the last word. Yeah, thank you. I would just like to uh, add on to what Grace mentioned earlier on. Um, I mean, totally agree with uh, uh, Grace's inputs. I'd like to share with everyone that um, Wikimedia Germany is currently uh, working on a project with Aflia, which is the... Um, African Library and Information Associations and Institutions um, to, to create, um, to work with the National Library of Nigeria uh, for their authority files using Wikibase and Wikidata. So this project um, has already kind of started uh, in, the, uh, in, in the early phase. And we plan to you know, work on this in the next uh, one year or so, in the coming one year or so, so that uh, eventually uh, we will see, you know, link uh, data uh, project with the National Library of Nigeria uh, in collaboration with AFLIA and the Wikimedia Foundation, of course. So, yeah, this uh, collaboration effort, um, the results of this collaboration, we hope to share with everyone, you know, once that is completed. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you on this. Uh, Afia is doing a lot of work in that uh, area, and um, uh, we need uh, it's the spirit of collaboration in in in, in driving uh, 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 and driving those efforts and and, and, and achieving um, organizational success. Not just with Afia, but with generally with uh, libraries and archives and museums and galleries in in the African region, we need to do this. So I agree with you totally. Thank you. I'm going to cut in for a minute, guys. It is break time. So if you want to step away and go for a break, you will be coming back to this Zoom link. So you can just stay on um, if you want to just stay muted and keep your camera off and walk away. Um, but those of you that want to stay and continue the conversation, feel free to stay and continue the conversation because um, I'm super excited. I love talking collaboration and if there's any way to get your bosses and your um, shareholders involved in something 
new or something they don't understand is saying, hey, if we can collaborate, if we can split the cost with somebody else, then a lot of times they'll jump in on it. And um, it's beautiful because what you don't know, somebody else will know, and you learn so much more out of the process. So like I said, we'll be coming back at 1030 Eastern Time, 930 um, Central Time, if you want to step away for a break. If not, the conversation will just keep going until the next session, guys.